G'day there. I'm going to show you that you can convert a perfectly good SLR film camera into both film and a digital camera. This is a, about a 1980 Nikon FE, very popular camera, semi-professional. It has a Tamron SP lens on it, one of the old legend lenses, and a MD11 motor drive. Beautiful little camera to use. Um, so I'll just pop the back on this and you can see that it is a still able to be used as a film camera. Let's pop that back off like that. And now what we're going to do is I'll show you what I've built here. This is a Sony Nex, uh, Nex 3. I've got the sensor there. Let's have a quick look at the sensor. The sensor's mounted in there. It does not have the filters on it. The filters have been moved to another spot, and I'll show you how, what's happened there. And uh, might look easy, but uh, a little bit tricky to get all that to work. Let's pop that on the back now. So we just pop that on the back here, if I can do it without dropping the whole lot, which I probably will. There we go. Let's drop that on there. Click it into place. Okay, we've got a digital back on a 1980 Nikon FE. So let's see if we can get this baby to work. What I can do is just turn around to auto. So we're on auto there. When we turn, uh, I'll get up close so you can see what I'm doing. When I turn the camera on, oh, the display's upside down, but don't worry about that. Um, as you can see, we've got no lens showing because there's no so there's no f. We've got it on five seconds. We've got it on uh, four hundred. No, I've got a four eight hundred ISO. So therefore, I've got the camera set on eight hundred ISO, all the same. So this is just working like electric film. So as you can see, with five seconds, when I press the button, it's going to go on for five seconds. So let's just uh, get ready to take a photo here. Uh, let's just check my light through the light meter of the Nikon. Oh yeah, that's on uh, f4 and it's going to shoot at 1 250th. So I'll just step over here. We'll press the, uh, click the Sony for the electric film. There it goes. Look out here. Bit of focus. If I had wound it on, would have been good. Let's do that again. Look out the window, take the photo, let's have a look over here. There we go. Beautiful out of focus photo because I rushed it and stuffed it up. But we can look back at a few other photos that we've taken. There's some cockies. Now there you are, there's a whole lot of cockies taken off, going crazy, going close. Pretty much in focus, works really well. Okay, what else we can do with this camera is if we flick it round here to, I'll just show you a trick, round to eight seconds and click it on, here we go. Uh, yeah, great, can't see a damn thing. So let's turn the f-stop round, there we go. So we're getting through the camera, look at what's going on. Let's try that again. So that's the uh, the Sony next looking right through the lens of the of the Nikon FE. This camera's got a bit of a fault in that if I put it on B setting like that, click it around to here, the uh, camera stays open, which is just absolutely beautiful for me because I can just look through there and and focus in a bit, um, get live view. But uh, the other good thing is that I can now set it to movie, take a movie and uh, shoot a movie straight through the Nikon. Look out here, boom, boom, shoot a movie. That's absolutely awesome. All right, let's click back around there and off it goes. Now, I've got this camera set up taking absolutely perfect photos. The, um, a bit of a trick to it because you can't get the, uh, you won't get perfect focus unless you can get the, um, the filter take the filters off the sensor. So let's just click this open again, if I can. 
and have a look what's going on here. Click that open, click that off, rightio. Now I'll put it back around to B. Click that on there. See that? There's my filter. I've put the filter around the other side of the shutter. Take the lens off. Let's just do that over here so you can sort of see me occasionally. Can you see that? You see me right through there? Have a look at that again. There you go, there's the filter there, sitting up under the mirror. It doesn't affect the mirror at all. Here we go again. See, works a treat. Now, the best thing about, about that is that if you make up another little filter, and this one, just bring it over the camera there, you can see that? That's just a little filter holder. And all that bit of glass is, is a piece of glass out of a microscope slide. And I've just carefully cut that the right shape and whatever. And what'll happen is, lift up the mirror, oh, which we can do on this camera by just putting it onto B. Lift up the mirror and just drop that in. And that sits there and gives you your filter. And the reason I've got a piece of clear glass on this one is that when you shoot off the bare sensor like that, you can take infrared photos. You've got no infrared filter. So you can shoot in raw, you've got beautiful black and whites if you, you know, do whatever you do on Photoshop, which I don't know how to use, but don't worry about that. And uh, so you can, and you're still, by using just this one millimeter piece of, uh, piece of glass, brings that back into focus because if you haven't got these filters in, that creates a bit of focus as well. Look at the sensor here. You can see it's been heavily rebated like that. Now I'm about less than two mil, so the top of that's still not hitting the shutters yet, so there's still room. But I've had to do that to get it to the film plane. And you've got to get that absolutely perfect. I mean within 0.02 of a millimetre, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, look, I might just wrap it up there and see how this video's gone. Well, the video seems to be going pretty well, so uh, now that I've checked out and seen what I'm up to, so I just thought I'd show you, there's a, uh, a sensor out of another uh, Sony Nex. I've, you know, managed to uh, destroy a couple in uh, in this little <laughs> little operation, but don't worry about that. <laughs> you're, getting a, you're doing a project, you've just got to finish it, don't you, no matter how many Nexes you wreck. There we go. Okay, so fully functional, Nikon. FE, oh yeah, what's gross about this is that uh, if I get this sensor sorted out, I might try and get that bottom bit of glass off. I'll be able to use this same back on, yeah, bear with me, on my beautiful Nikon FE2. So imagine that baby digital as well. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, well uh, there's a wrap, but um, if anyone ever tells uh, says to you that you can't convert a, uh, an SLR into a digital camera. Uh, say bullshit, you watch this video and you saw kids do it. All the best.